In this guide, we'll go over all of the actions the rogue and ninja learns from level 1 to 50, in order. We will go over how each action is meant to be used, and when applicable, the recommended way to use it. Please refer to the video in the top right corner for explanations of roll actions specifically. Spinning Edge is your starting action. It is your combo starter for your 1-2-3 combos, so at this point you simply use it repeatedly. At level 2, you learn the ability Shade Shift. This action puts a shield on you. Use it when you're about to take damage. The ninja job involves a lot of weaving, which involves fitting abilities in between weapon skills. The short version is to only use one or two abilities between weapon skills. If you want to learn more about weapon skills, abilities and weaving in general, I would refer to the video in the top right corner. At level 4, you learn the weapon skill Gust Slash, which is your step 2 in your 1-2-3 combos. At this point, you simply alternate between Spinning Edge and Gust Slash. At level 10, you learn the ability Hide. This action makes most enemies ignore you, but also makes you move slower. Be aware that unfortunately this effect is immediately cancelled if someone in your party enters combat with a boss, and you cannot use it while in combat either. Bosses also see through your invisibility, so walking too close to a boss will cancel the effect too. At level 14, you learn the trait All Fours. This makes you take less fall damage. Keep in mind though, that you cannot die from fall damage if you are not in combat. At level 15, you learn the weapon skill Throwing Dagger. Using this action will break your current combo, so you generally only want to use it when you are far away from your target and are incapable of coming close and preferably only if you know you have to use Throwing Dagger multiple times. Be aware that the range of Throwing Dagger, 15 yalms, is less than the distance a ninja at level 20 can run in 2.5 seconds, the recast time of your weapon skills. You also learn the ability Mug. This action does some damage and should be weaved between two weapon skills. You should use it on cooldown, and it also has a bonus effect of sometimes making an enemy drop extra common loot if you use this action on them. This effect is not so great that it is worth strategizing around, but it is interesting to know. At level 18, you learn the ability Trick Attack. This attack can only be used when affected by Hide, and does a huge amount of damage for an ability. It does even more damage when used from behind your target, and also increases the damage the target takes. Keep in mind though, that entering a boss fight immediately removes Hide, so this action can only be used outside boss fights for now. At level 20, you learn the trait Fleet of Foot. This makes you always run 10% faster. This does not stack with any other movement speed increases, so Sprint still only makes you run 30% faster in total. At level 26, you learn the weapon skill Aeolian Edge, which is the last step of your 1-2-3 combos. Additionally, it does extra damage when used from behind your target. Unless an enemy is designed to automatically always count your positional as correct, it will have a part of its targeting reticle missing. This entire area is the rear or behind of an enemy. At this point, your rotation primarily involves going through your 1-2-3 combo. Don't worry about the positional requirements when playing alone, but when in a party, you should try to always hit Aeolian Edge from behind. At level 30, you learn the weapon skill Shadow Fang. This action applies a large damage over time effect, or DOT for short, to the target. It has a long cooldown, so make sure to apply it to a target that will live as much of the 30 second duration as possible, but do try to use it on cooldown still. Remember this is a weapon skill, despite it having a long cooldown. Also at level 30, doing your class questline will eventually lead you to the ninja quest, which is available once you complete the main scenario quest, Sylph Management. Once you unlock the ninja, remember to equip your soul crystal to change into the ninja job. The ninja starts with two actions. The first is the ability Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu fires off whichever ninjutsu you have currently done mudras to activate. The second is the ability Ten, which is a mudra used for ninjutsus. There are no ninjutsus that require the same mudra to be done twice, and as such, at this point you only get access to one ninjutsu. The first ninjutsu, Fuma Shuriken, does a large amount of damage. An odd thing about the ninjutsu and mudra abilities is that they incur global recast timers just like weapon skills. These global recast timers are significantly shorter than the regular global recast timer. You want to make use of ninjutsu as often as you can to get the most damage out of it, as it is your most powerful option. Unlike throwing dagger, it does not break your combo to use ninjutsu either, so you can do spinning edge, 10, fumishuriken and then ghost slash as an example. A few features about ninjutsu. 
You can hold up to two charges of it at a time, but only one charge will cool down at a time. So every 20 seconds you will get one use, but you could wait 40 seconds and use two back to back. Also, using hide will immediately give you both of your ninjutsu charges back. As such, if you are ever out of combat and are not at full ninjutsu charges, you should hide. You can cancel hide again by right clicking the buff in your buff list, which I highly recommend you do. At level 35, you learn the ability Chi, which is a mudra for ninjutsus. This gives you access to two new ninjutsus. If you use Chi 10, ninjutsu turns into a katon, a fireball attack that does a great amount of area of effect damage, or AoE for short. If you use 10 Chi, ninjutsu turns into a raitan, a lightning strike that does a huge amount of single target damage, even more so than Fuma Shuriken. Also, using just Chi results in Fuma Shuriken, just like 10 alone does. Raiton is best for single target, but for two or more targets, Katon is better. As an example, you can do Ghost Slash, Tenchi, Raiton, and then Aeolian Edge. At level 38, you learn the weapon skill Death Blossom. This action is an AoE attack that is better to use on repeat than your 1 2 3 combo on three or more targets. Assuming the target lives for 30 seconds, Shadow Fang is still better than Death Blossom as long as there are less than 10 targets. As an example, you can do Death Blossom, Chi 10, Katong, Death Blossom. At level 40, you learn the ability Shukuchi. This action lets you quickly teleport to anywhere within 20 yards. Many players prefer to use a macro to cause this action to teleport onto a target of their choice, as this makes it quicker to use. At level 45, you learn the ability Jin, which is another mudra for ninjutsus. This gives you access to a whopping 4 new ninjutsus, not to mention all ninjutsus you have have 2 different combinations to cast them, with Fuma Shuriken having 3 by using just Jin as an option too. Let's take it from the top. Raiton is activated with Tenchi or Jinchi, that is, ending with Chi and is still a strong option for single target damage. Katon is activated with Chi Ten or Jin Ten, that is, ending with 10 and is still a strong option for AoE damage. Hyoton is activated with Ten Jin or Chi Jin, that is, ending with Jin, and is worse than Raiton for single target damage. However, much later you will learn a special trait that sometimes makes it better. Huton is activated with Jin Chi Ten or Chi Jin Ten, that is, ending with 10, and applies a buff to you that reduces your global recast timer by 15%. You have a gauge that tracks this, so make sure it is always active. Given that recasting it resets the duration to 70 seconds, you may sometimes want to sit on one of the users of Ninjutsu for a few seconds to make sure to reapply Futon as late as possible without ever letting it drop. To put it into perspective, having Futon active translates to about 17% more damage done over time. You can use Futon followed by Hide before a fight to start with it active. Doton is activated with Ten Jin Chi or Jin Ten Chi, that is, ending with Chi. And assuming the targets stay in the area of affected places down, it is your strongest attack hands down. It does 100 potency up front, as well as 100 potency 8 times over its 24 second duration. If you know the targets are not moving away, you want to make sure this effect is running over using Raiton or Katon. If you know you can stand at a spot where the boss will be fought, you can use Doton followed by Hide before a fight to start with it active. Suiton is activated with 10 Chi Jin or Chi Ten Jin, that is, ending with Jin, and in addition to doing damage, applies an effect to you that allows you to use Trick Attack without being hidden. You want to use Suitan whenever Trick Attack is available, unless there are three or more targets, in which case even Katon is better. This means your ninjutsu priority is as follows. 1. Keep Futon up. 2. Use Suitan to use Trick Attack, unless there are more than two targets. 3. Place Doton unless your tank is going to move the enemies out of it. 4. Use a Raiton on single target or Katon on multi-target. At level 50, you learn the ability Kasatsu, which gives you an extra use of ninjutsu and makes that next use do more damage. Preferably, you want to use Kasatsu with Doton, and if you don't trust your tank, use it on Raiton or Katon depending on how many enemies there are. To round off, let's cover common combat practice as well as single target and AoE rotations at level 50. You always enter a fight with Futon already active by using Futon and then Hide. You can cancel Hide afterwards by right clicking the buff on your buff list if you don't want or need it. For single target, let's first cover an opener. Start with Jin, Chi Ten, Futon, Hide, Cancel Hide. 
Then you do 10 Chijin Tsuiton as you run towards the target and then use Kasatsu. Open with Spinning Edge, Trick Attack and Mug. Then you use Shadow Fang, followed by Jin Ten Chi Doton. Make sure that the Doton is placed somewhere where the tank is likely to keep the boss. If the boss isn't going to stay, use Ten Chi Raiton instead. After that, you use Ten Chi Raiton again. Then you finish your combo with Gust Slash and Aeolian Edge, which leads into your rotation. Cycle through your 1 2 3 combo of Spinning Edge, Gust Slash, and Aeolian Edge while weaving abilities in between them and using bigger value weapon skills alongside them. You should use Mug and Shadow Fang as often as you can and make sure to manage your ninjutsu so you can use the higher value ninjutsu as often as possible. To be specific, you should refresh Futon as late as possible without letting it drop off. You should cast Suiton such that you can use Trick Attack as close to when it readies as possible. Remember that Suiton has a duration so you can use it a bit beforehand. Then you can use Doton, but remember you can only have one Doton at a time, so make sure to let the most recent Doton end first. If you're about to get your second Ninjutsu charge prepared and nothing of higher value is an option, use Raiton. Also, if you don't trust your tank, you should not try to force the Dotons, just use Raiton or Katon accordingly if the tank is going to move out anyway. Kasatsu should be used on Doton if possible, and if not, Raiton or Katon. Never use Kasatsu on Futon or Suiton. For two targets, Katon replaces Raiton casts. For three or more targets, you replace your 1 2 3 combo with Death Blossom, and Suiton is also replaced by Katon. In the rare scenario where you have a priority target amongst many, you may want to use Suiton and Trick Attack due to the damage boosting effect it provides. Also, a few tips. If you are dealing with a tank that is actively avoiding your Doton casts, try to let them know what it is. If that doesn't work, stay cool and work around it in the way I suggested. I also recommend placing your mudras in a logical sequence such that you can more easily learn the muscle memory necessary to use the different ninjutsus, as this is by far the hardest part about the ninja. Be aware that attempting to use ninjutsu with a non-existing mudra combination, that is, using any mudra more than once, will waste your ninjutsu cast and instead place a harmless black mage bunny on your head. Thank you for watching. If you want something clarified or have something to add, please leave a comment down below. Fun fact, the ninjutsus might sound very similar to other games and media's names for similar attacks. That is because these ninjutsus are sort of literal in their naming. In Japanese, these attacks all have added a nojutsu at the end of their name, and that means the art of. In fact, ninjutsu means ninja art. So for example, katon nojutsu means the art of fire, 